Greetings everyone. This is an earthquake watch for November 15, 16 and 17. The last 48 hours we have seen a significant increase in solar activity and I'm expecting a larger array of earthquakes to be heading our way, perhaps 6.5 in magnitude, during the watch period. The latest X-ray ghost flux data doesn't really show too much activity, although we do see a lot of smallish spikes and this could be related to the sunspot region 11123 which was earth, earth facing at that time. OK, here is the Lasco C3 imagery from Soho and we can see the CME effects and it's a constant sort of flaring and CME activity that's going on right now. We also see a sun grazing comet enter at the very last portion of this um, imagery. So we, we are going to be receiving some sort of effects. There is a nice um, halo CME just above the equator and northern hemisphere and a fairly wide um, effect here and we'll get to look at some more data on this um, with the SDO and also cactus. Okay here is the SDO 193 angstrom and um, we can see the effects on the solar corona here with the large filament that's erupted and the subsequent solar reaction too and it's a quite powerful event although the it seems to be a superficial eruption it it does not seem to have affected the coronal holes underneath in any way, shape or form. So um, it's quite dangerous as it's um, perhaps almost Earth-facing. But as we can see, the eruption actually was directed away from Earth. So it is an interesting um, um, aspect to the activities um, that are underway at the moment. And we have this very large sunspot regions that have almost tag-teaming now and they're it's a very very large feature and we have seen a lot of earthquakes um, around about 5.8 in magnitude and mainly southern hemisphere and we're going to be looking ahead now for some very large features that are on the sun that need to be monitored and mapped. Okay we'll have a quick look at cactus and this is a digital representation and it's performed in an animation for us and it shows us the um, southern hemisphere um, CME and it's there's quite a lot of um, substance behind this and there's a constant flow of um, smaller CMEs that are following up in behind so this is just before the sun grazing comet entered and it's worth keeping a close eye on. Ok we'll have a look at another image and another CME that was recorded and an interesting anomaly also just above here. <laughs> ok ok we'll have a look at some stills now and we'll look ahead of where I'm expecting these earthquakes may be and we're looking at the 193 angstrom and here is the large coronal hole that I've targeted and there's also another coronal hole that we need to look at also so there are two main events that I'm going to be focusing on this will be the start of the watch period and this looks to me like it's around about 11 degrees south latitude and we can get another look um, although it's slightly different uh, perception on this um, with the 171 angstrom so there is a difference and we can just see the bottom part of it and it's quite significant as it's around the sunspot regions. But we get a better look with the 193 angstrom and we're going to have a closer look at the moving imagery on this. We actually get a better look in the solar monitor although where the data is um, it's been affected the last 30 hours we've got no latest telemetry or images but we can see the coronal hole much better and the actual shape of the coronal hole has got this hook feature and it's fairly easy to map and we'll do this now. OK, with Google Earth, it's, um, we can see some predominant features um, on Earth that seems to match this area. Now, the Solomon Islands is the area that I've targeted for this watch, um, next door to Papua New Guinea. And this fits um, perfectly um, with the coronal hole um, that's on the solar corona. And we can see this feature here, it fits almost identically, 11.5 degrees is fine. Um, there may possibly be on the edge of the plate, which will probably be in the Santa Cruz Islands. So my guess would be Solomon Islands region, um, just around um, this trench, would be the most likely area, with a possibility slightly next door of the Santa Cruz Islands. And I'm expecting a 6.5 magnitude event um, with this, and this will be the first few days of the watch. There is also a smaller possibility that um, the actual feature may also be this chain of volcanoes up around Samoa region so although this is perhaps um, less likely perhaps 5% and the Solomon Islands 95% if the, an event were to and occur in those regions 
I would say that um, this is less likely but probable. So perhaps one of these volcanoes may be affected um, in this region but more than likely it'll be an event in Solomon Islands I feel. Okay we'll have a look again at the northern hemisphere now and we're looking at the H-alpha solar monitor imagery and again this is two days old but we do get a look at the magnetic filament that was attached to the sun a few days ago but since then it has erupted and we'll have a look at that right now with the moving imagery in the SDO and we sh should be seeing the effects of this quite soon and this is a long predominant feature so this is the main part of my watch period and the main forecast and in, in an, uh, an area that perhaps hasn't been activated. Okay here is the latest SDO imagery and we can see the filament that's still attached on the solar corona and it, it explodes. So this is um, an important feature but it hasn't affected the underneath portions or coronal features so that indicates that it's a superficial eruption and it's quite fortunate that this wasn't earth facing or, um, or heading our way. It seemed to be heading um, across uh, and away from earth which is good. Now there is a large coronal hole here also but it doesn't seem to be showing much movement and um, it looks like the sun is stabilizing so to speak so perhaps we won't be seeing anything too large during the watch period although there are some significant sunspots uh, and it just seems to be that something's about to occur because we are seeing some anomalies on the solar data and imagery we are missing telemetry um, there are lots of bits and pieces that are missing so um, it seems to be a lot of um, electromagnetic effects associated with the sun right now. Okay and here is my second watch area and location that's mapped on, this, on the solar corona and again I'm targeting this area um, it seems to be popping up a lot uh, the last seven days a lot of features that seem to be indicating a likely event in this region. Now we've got this large coronal feature on the sun the magnetic filament and I'm targeting the magnetic filament because it has worked in the past and this is stretching from 29 degrees up to about 35 and then back down and we can see this um, feature that looks fairly similar to the um, magnetic filament. We'll have another look at it and you can see it's it's got this nice long extension and a curve and it's a fairly similar sort of feel here. So I'm expecting an event um, a possible event up in Pakistan which is on the top portion and it's located around about um, um, this is the region right here uh, it's, it's located at about 35 degrees north latitude so that's the area of my of my watch um, and this will be towards the end of the watch period which will be November 14 or 15 and uh, sorry this will be towards the end which will be uh, November 16 or 17 there is a small uh, possibility that it may be Japan again and we did get a volcano which was just located uh, just in this region right here and I um, can't really pronounce this right but um, that's a volcano that did, that did show a lot of activity um, I think yesterday the Sakamurajima uh, volcano so although this sits at 31 degrees um, it looks likely that the event may be 33 to 35 degrees north and that will put Japan at risk although the feature doesn't seem to match completely although the second portion of the feature does so there is a, a, a possibility that Honshu um, may be affected but I'm thinking that it may be the Pakistan region that we most are concerned with. Now the, the actual area that is at risk extends 29 degrees and moves up to 35 so that would put um, a lot of areas a lot of danger areas at risk but the actual feature doesn't seem to match the LA region or the American um, fault line San Andreas so we'll, I think we can rule that area out and just concentrate on the the Asian profile that it seems to resemble okay that's my earthquake watch for today thanks for watching